This is Iowa's News Now Sports with Owen Sebring. Last night, a reporter asked Caitlin Clark about appearing in three straight Big Ten title games. Caitlin replied, it's all I know. Clark knows the big stage, and now all she's known over the last two years is how to win a Big Ten title. Simply put, Queen Caitlin was without equal in this Big Ten championship game. After just two quarters, it was clear that this might be the best game of her career at Iowa. Not necessarily the best numbers, although those were impressive, but playing in a conference title game against a top 15 team, 23 points, 9 assists, 5 rebounds before halftime. We've ceased the ability to use any superlative to describe this young woman. She is without peer or rival. The best the sport has to offer right now. Maybe we're watching the best all time. Right before halftime, off of a Gabby Marshall miss, Caitlin chases down the rebound. She pulls it out beyond the arc, and then she whips it back inside to Kate Martin. The Hawkeyes had it turned up to 11 from the very start of this game. 61-24 halftime lead. Most points they've ever scored in a half against a Big Ten opponent in any game. Clark with another dime from the opposite three-point line. Again to Martin, who had 13 points. We're chasing that triple-double. Three minutes left in the third. She lets out a sizzler to Gabby Marshall, who's been so good this entire tournament. Splashes home one of her three three-pointers. So that's her 10th assist, got the double-double. She now holds the Big Ten record for career assists at the conference tournament. Look at this one. Hooks it underneath to Monica Sinana, who had a quiet 26 points. Clark, she brought the extra crispy stuff for the dish game tonight. A couple minutes later off an Ohio State miss. There it is, chasing down the rebound. She knows what this means. 30 points, 17 assists, 10 rebounds. Just the third Big Ten player ever to record a triple-double in a conference tournament game in front of the biggest crowd in Big Ten tournament history, probably 90% of whom were Hawkeye fans. Her night's done after another beautiful dish to Gabby who drains the three. Gabby, Caitlin, and Monica all on the all-tournament team. Caitlin leads to a thunderous ovation from the crowd at the Target Center. Most points and the largest margin of victory in a Big Ten title game. Iowa Storms to a second straight Big Ten title, and we've added another chapter to the ever-growing legend of Caitlin Clark. The Iowa men could clinch a spot in the Big Ten tournament quarterfinals if they beat Nebraska. Senior day at Carver, Philip Abracha playing his last game at home, enjoying some extra time on the rim. Hawkeyes lead 30-26. to Patrick McCaffrey playing his best game in months. 16 first half points, including five three-pointers. There's a four-point play, 43-39. Iowa leads at the break. Now, Connor McCaffrey, he's playing his last game for his dad in front of the home fans. Hits a three-pointer midway through the second quarter. Eight points for Connor in his last game at CHA. With just over six minutes left, Chris Murray Comes crashing in the hoop, gets the bucket and a foul. But would you believe that was the last field goal Iowa scored today. 0 for 8 over the final six minutes. And this did not help. 20 seconds left. Connor looks like he gets an and one, but instead is called a charge. If he called, Fran not pleased, as you might imagine. Iowa down four at the time, so might not have mattered in the end. Nevertheless, they lose their first home game since December 21st. This loss may drop them a crucial seat at the NCAA tournament. Here's the breakdown of the Big Ten Tournament just released over the last hour and a half. Iowa, the five seed, they miss out on an automatic quarterfinal spot because of that loss. They'll face the winner of Ohio State and Wisconsin this Thursday around 1.30. If they win that game, they would play Michigan State in the Big Ten quarters on Friday. And at tonight's Big Ten Wrestling Championships, two Hawkeyes capture conference crowns. Spencer Lee, the third of his career, wins an 8-2 decision over Nebraska's Liam Cronin. His 55th consecutive win, Lee was named the outstanding wrestler of the tournament. And he's the Big Ten Wrestler of the Year for the third time in his career. He's the 19th three-time champion in Iowa history. And Ray All Woods, he won the Hawkeyes' only other Big Ten title, a 2-1 decision for his third conference title in his career. His last two came in the Pac-12 while he was at Stanford. The Hawkeyes finished second as a team with 134.5 points. All 10 wrestlers finish in the top seven, and all will advance to the NCAA tournament later this month. Down in St. Louis, Drake is going back to the big dance after a 26-point beatdown of Bradley in the Missouri Valley title game. Their second appearance in three years. They had that run with Joe Yesifu in 2021. And the Kirkwood men's team erases a 17-point halftime deficit against DMAC in the regional semis. They'll face Iowa Lakes on Thursday in the regional championship with a chance at the JUCO National Tournament.